welcome to wells quick tips and trick youtube cooking channel and today i am come up another dish of govan only and it is called uh, bande amsol or bindi amsol whichever way you say uh, okra uh, with uh, uh, kokum so in uh, konkani we say uh, bande amsol okay so you need bande and uh, in goa you get light yellow is the long one also that is also good but i've got this so you have to cut this into like this so chop this and then go slanting way like this and if you want big big chunks then you can keep big big so this is a 250 uh, gram bhindi a uh, bhane odeshi gram bhane getle and so here it is mentioned it is 250 grams and uh, the other ingredients what you ne need the main is what is this tamarind which is um um is like tamarind and then you need sol that is solla kokum dry kokum so i have taken one two Four, five, six, seven of this I have taken. Okay, this is kokum. So that's how it is called amsol. So it is like amsan in Konkani amsan and solla. So it is amsol. Then I have taken some one green chili and a small uh, pod of garlic. Then this is like one like this inch of uh, ginger. i have grated it very finely then you need some um, half teaspoon of pepper powder 3/4 teaspoon of cumin powder and this is half teaspoon of whole cumin okay so this is cumin powder whole cumin then half teaspoon of turmeric powder and again half teaspoon of coriander powder Okay, so these are the things, and then I've taken. I have taken two onions, like this chopped. You can take one, one and a half. I have taken two onion for this quantity. So now let's. This is without oil, and I will be using this much water only. This same water, this pulp water of amsan or tamarind wala. To this, I won't add lot of water because bindi doesn't need lot of water to. get cooked because they are tender so let's start then we need salt to taste also so now uh, let us take a pan or a kadai or a, even you can use your uh toli uh earthen clay pot whatever now i will saute this onion and i will put it like this put it in your hand so it's all nicely uh, sh shredded so i will saute this onion for few minutes on high flame no oil okay if you want to add oil you can add but my grandmother she used to not use any oil for certain dishes in uh, goan dishes oil is not required and now i will add this bindi to this and again saute this for few minutes now we'll make medium flame it get hot 
after a few minutes so if any little bit stickiness is there that will go if you fry this way the sticky stickiness if you like the stickiness then it's fine then i will be also adding this two uh, kashmiri chilies and two govan chilies so you can only add kashmiri also just break this into and keep this and one chili i will make three and the other one i will keep like that only at this time we will add now salt to this so salt to taste and mix this and now we will add the masalas along with the chilies and the um this uh, solla also so it goes like this we'll fry little this masala and now we will add the amsan water that is tamarind pulp water to this i will add little bit more a little bit more like around uh, uh, half of this more water to that i will put in that palm poli and i will add this water again that's it and we will cover this and cook this for 10 minutes and it is ready so just for 10 minutes so the bindis get cooked nicely and it is ready bindis will get cooked because i have roasted it for few minutes onions also so we'll give just for few minutes and it's done so i'll cover this and cook this on medium flame for 5 to 10 minutes this is after few minutes i can get the aroma of uh, um soil that is a uh, kokum and uh, the tamarind water what we put pulp water and the chilies and whatever we put few minutes more and we are done and here our dish is ready now to serve and the bindi color which was dark green has become to light so our bindi is cooked and it's ready to go in our plate enjoy it like this only with rice or maybe you can enjoy it with boiled rice and saurak it will go yum so 
hope you will enjoy thank you so much for watching and uh, love you all